Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos uh, with respect to uh, advice, guidance, inspiration. And I'm reminded of the story of a rabbi who went to a wealthy man uh, trying to collect money for uh, a yeshiva. And uh, <coughs> this wealthy person was not an Orthodox Jew. He was not observant. But he would always give generously to, um, to uh, Jewish educational causes. The rabbi asked him, why is it that somebody who's like so secular gives so generously to, to these causes? The man said, when I was a young boy, I was a bit of a wild teenager. And um, my mother kept sending me to yeshivas, hoping that they would accept me, and no one did. She even sent me uh, to study with the, the Chofetz Chaim in Raden, in Poland. And while his yeshiva did not accept me, it, by the time I was done, it was quite late in the evening and going home was not possible. So he gave me, a, he offered me a bed in his home. And to call it a home actually is a bit of a, an overstatement. It was more of like a, like a shack. And as a matter of fact, the Chofetz Chaim offered his own bed. The wealthy man said, when, uh, you know, uh, I was used to comfortable beds, warm clothing. It was a very cold night. And uh, he had no electricity, no, no warmth. It was very cold. And I'm huddled in this bed and um, I was having trouble falling asleep. During the night, the Chofetz Chaim took his coat, which he probably was gonna sleep in himself, and while I was pretending to sleep, he, would co he covered me with his long, heavy coat because he knew that I would probably be cold. And um, I also realized that he probably gave me his bed to sleep in. The rich man said, I never forgot that. And although I'm not an observant guy, I'm not a from Jew, um, the impression that the kindness and love of this, of this godel, this, this great person for you know, this, this young kid perfect stranger that never left me and uh, I became later in life quite rich and I never forgot that so every time someone comes to me and they're collecting for a Jewish uh, cause especially for a school which I never had the privilege of going to I always give and I give from the heart because of the love and the kindness and the generosity that was shown to me by the Chofetz Chaim. Um, we never know in our lives the tiniest little things that we do, the effect that it can have on someone else. Um, always try and remember that. Uh, whether it's greeting someone with a smile, a small act of kindness, a small act of uh, generosity, you don't know the ripple effect that it could have. And you can, uh, you can turn someone's life around um, so easily. We're gonna be doing more videos along these lines. Uh, please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.